What it do, what it do, it's the game and we're Barry here back with another video. I really wanted to start this video off with saying thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for the fan base. Thank y'all for the overall support and thanks for the KD community to get back together and getting back in the YouTube area and go ahead and check out these videos, you know what I'm saying? Cause I appreciate y'all. But anyways, we got all that remains at number one. They had 5 billion points and then we had Crystal on top that had 136 million points just by herself, which is incredible. So for the top 10, we got all that remains. Second, we got Loki Nice. Third, we got Untouchable Legacy. And keep in mind, Untouchable Legacy has been in a slump. They're not doing too well right now, but we're going <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just get off that subject. Centurions, Party Crashers. Then we got High Death Squad, Fell Onto the Earth, Live to Play. Then we got Cobra Martial Arts. And then my personal guild is Knights of Coalition. They had ranked 10th. They had went crazy. But as y'all see, it says your guild ranked 12th. So I was on the top 10 run, and I was with Red Shift 7. Then people went crazy for top 10. They was going nice. I appreciate them. Thanks for having me. It was an overall great experience. I think Red Shift 7 was my first time hearing about them, but y'all definitely made y'all name known. So Crystal on top was first, but I'll see it. The second player has KOC right there. I already know that's my guild. So definitely shout out to Chucky. Chucky went crazy. That's my guild sentinel. That man already got the coldest armors in the game. I ain't gonna lie. When I look at his stats, that man is a maniac. <laughs> that man's a maniac. But we're gonna go ahead and go on and show all the rest of the top 10. You know, we're not gonna leave them out. They definitely did great. They definitely got good armors as well. You know, so check them out, add them, whatever y'all wanna do. But let's go ahead and see what my guild was doing. Red shit seven. While we was going on the top 10 run, we had to stay for the blitz raid, so they did good as well. Eternity Seeds, NTA Slayer, Gypsy King, and then as y'all see, fourth and fifth is my peoples. Yup, my alt count. <laughs> yes, my alt count was weak, but we definitely had to go crazy. We definitely had to go ahead and get them last milestones because I needed the materials. I needed everything in there, so I definitely got it when gems a little bit. You know, I be spending gems like crazy. I am not even gonna lie. I be anything I need it for, I'm spending it. You know, I'm not going to just keep it right there just for looks, design, etc. And I'm definitely thinking about going for the plus version. Also, one more thing. My guild is always recruiting for new players. They be having new players that join our guild, but they don't be really serious about the alliance. They don't be trying to add us online. So if y'all want to join our guild, go ahead and join and contact Ratty274 and he'll get you started. And also another thing, the Heroic came out, Water and Spirit. And one of my last videos I was talking about, I should have never crafted this armor, but now I'm definitely grateful for crafting the armor because I got it right here. Meaning, the first time I craft the heroic armor is going to be a plus version, y'all. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and get this plus version. But not only one plus version, I'm actually thinking about going for two. It only has been 24 hours since this heroic came out, and I'm at Cold Rock Craig's. So by the night, I'm going to be able to craft the plus. And then after I do the rest of these, I'm going to be able to craft the plus. I already did the last stage at kingdom of darkness so i'm already able to craft the set but i'm gonna go ahead and try to get the exclusive material because currently i need six so if we go to the gem spot all the way to the top right corner and then we click on limited and then we click on heroic event this will show you all the type of materials and items you could be getting if you finish the last four stages and me i'm going to get the exclusive and i'm going to get another set Cause I'm definitely gonna need that so I'm definitely gonna get some silver coins as well because that's gonna leave me with probably like 50 more materials left over so I could get five coins so that would definitely be good I definitely need this because I need six more exclusive materials to get the plus version I already got the exclusive but I'm looking for the plus you know I kind of already upgraded this all the way to the max level kind of by accident because i wasn't thinking i would be able to get the plus version but they say in the last raid there's going to be five materials on this and if i do the epic boss for top 20 then i'm gonna get an exclusive material from that and then if i do this heroic then i'm gonna get an exclusive material from that so definitely my chances of getting this plus version this month is definitely looking good as you can see there's an exclusive material right there and then if we go to the armors Oh, um, where is it at? Okay, I think I passed it up. Okay, yeah. So we get the every boss collection right, then we get exclusive material, and we get three coins that I actually need. So my chances of getting this plus exclusive and two heroics are gonna actually be looking great. I'm definitely excited for this week. I'm definitely gonna be leveling up my armors big time this week. I'm definitely gonna be going up another rank. 
you know, and I'm gonna end up doing another top 10 soon. I'm gonna end up showing y'all a video for that. And I actually still got my keys. I'm really tempted to open them up. I don't know when to. I'm thinking of 500, but 500 might be like the next month. You know what I'm saying? So probably at 200, then I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and get some material, probably get a set that I need for a certain armor or, you know, anything that I might just be able to get. I might just be able to get one of these armors free and I might already have the set for it. So that might just be great. And um, yeah, y'all, y'all just stay tuned for them videos. Y'all stay tuned and keep supporting. I thank y'all. I appreciate all the support y'all been doing. Y'all been doing great. The Epic Boss is leaving today. So y'all have less than 24 hours to even get right. So I would definitely put a little bit of emphasis on that because remember you need your Epic Boss armor to be top 20 because you're gonna get a free exclusive material from that. I don't know if you need it. I know for me, I need it. But that wraps it up for the video, y'all. I really love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share with your fellow King D mates. And I'll see y'all on the next one, man. It's been a great pleasure.